While that book was really interesting, I learned a lot of really cool things about lemmings. So now we're at the last page of the book, and often in books like this, where we're reading about, in nonfiction books, we're reading about science things, there is a section of the back of the book, often called the glossary, that will have all of those words that were bolded in the back. So I could look them up here if I wanted to, okay? The other thing that this book is suggesting, and I totally think we should do it because I think it would be really cool to see what you guys come up with, especially since you came up with such amazing things last week. It says that we should create a collared lemming poster. Imagine you are a scientist studying collared lemmings. Create a poster that shows how the lemmings live in the freezing Arctic winter. This is really cool because this is a type of model that scientists do when they have learned lots of information and then they put it together in one thing, like a central place where they can share it with other people. It's called modeling and that's what we're gonna do today. So here's an example of one. Uh, it's kind of like what they read in the book, but you could make your burrowing tunnels look any way that you want. Right? And here's some questions that it gives you to think about, which I think are really good. It says, how do collared lemmings stay protected from the cold weather? Another question to consider is, how do lemmings find food? And then a third question is, what predators hunt collared lemmings? Add labels to your poster. Labels are important because then we can see what you're trying to get. Like Labels tell us the important things you want us to see. After you're finished, present your poster to your friends and family. Perfect. So if we look at this poster, we can see that they chose to highlight the Arctic fox. But there were other predators we learned about. So when I go to make my poster, I know that I'm going to go backwards in my book and look at the section on predators. Here it is. And I might choose to use a different predator. I can see here that they talked about Arctic foxes, but they also talked about wolves, weasels, and owls. So maybe on my poster, I'm going to put a different animal that I learned in the book, okay? And when they ask about finding food, well, I remember there's a section in the book on that, right? So I could go back here and look at my food section. Let's see. Oh, here it is, searching for food. And this section had all the information about how lemmings find food and what kind of food they eat. And remember, we learned that they find food above ground and also they dig below ground to find food. So I could show that in my model. The other question that they ask that we want to think about when we do our model is how do collared lemmings stay protected from the cold weather? And we had a couple sections on that in the book too, right? So this is what scientists do, and this is what makes reading like this so much harder than when we're just reading for entertainment, right? When we're just like we're reading at the dentist. This reading is harder because we have to go back and look and read again to really make sure we have that right information and we can include it in our model. I'm so excited to see what you come up with for your model, and I'm looking forward to seeing them on Flipgrid this week. Thank you.